So we saw how to log into a Django application using Google in the last video. We're going to move on in this video and look at another identity provider and that's GitHub. And we're going to see how we can link multiple identity providers, for example, Google, GitHub and more to a single user account in this video. So let's get started. Before we do, if you want to support the channel, check out our coffee page. We've got a link just under the video. And we also just released our first Udemy course, which is now available. And we'll leave a link to that under the video as well. Thank you very much to everybody who has bought that course so far. It's greatly appreciated. Let's get started. We're going to look at this providers documentation in Django Oloth. And the link to this series of videos can be found just below the video as well. Now with Google, we saw how to obtain a client ID and a secret. And we're going to do the same with GitHub in this video. Now, if we go down here, there's a list of all of the supported providers in Django Oloth. And you can see lots of cool things here. We've got DigitalOcean, Discord, and so on. What we're going to do is go to the provider for GitHub. And the first step here is to register your application and get that key and secret from GitHub. So we can visit this link here. I'm going to copy that and go to GitHub and paste that in. And we're taken to this page where we can register a new OAuth application. So let's add an application name here. I'm just going to call this Django Oloth Demo. And because we're just in development here, the homepage URL is going to be localhost 8000. And as before, one of the most important things we do when we register an application is specify the callback URL. And this is the URL in the Django application where the identity provider, in this case GitHub, is going to send the user after they have successfully authenticated. That's a key part of the OAuth flow. So let's go to the GitHub provider documentation and you can see the development callback URL here. So let's copy that and we're going to paste it in here and I'm going to change this to localhost just the same as we had above here. So localhost 8000 and this is the standard pattern for callback URLs in Django Oloth. We have slash accounts and then slash name of the provider in this case GitHub and then it's slash login slash callback. Now this callback URL must exactly match what Django Oloth expects from the given provider. So we need to get that right and that is the correct URL for GitHub. So let's now register this application and we get taken to this page here where we have a client ID which we can copy. And for now I'm just going to paste this into Notepad and then we can also generate a client secret. So we have this secret here available if we scroll down and I'm going to copy that and again we can just paste that into Notepad. We're going to reference these when we create the social application using Django. Now before we do that, let's go to VS Code here. I have a server running and at the moment the only provider we've added to installed apps is Google. We're going to add GitHub in a second, but I'm actually going to go to the application just now. So we're on the application here and let's log in with one of our users and we're going to log in using Google here. So let's continue and I'm going to select this all auth test user that we were using in the previous video. So when we click that email, we are then logged in and you can see we are on the secret page here. Now, the reason I wanted to do this, if we go to one of the all auth pages here, we have this page called account connections that we've not visited before. Now let's go to that page and you can see the different social accounts that you have registered here. For example, we have a single social account at the moment for this user and that is tied to the Google identity provider that we have. And notice that we can actually remove this here. In other words, we can disconnect this social account from the user and that's going to remove that object from the database and stop the user being able to authenticate using Google. So basically we have a page here where we can manage the existing connections and remove them if we want to. We also have the ability to add additional accounts here, additional social accounts. And when we add GitHub here, we're going to see that we can add a second identity provider. So we already have Google, but we can actually tie multiple identity providers to this single user account. And this is a page in Django Oloth that allows you to manage those connections. Let's actually now add GitHub into the mix. Now what we're going to do to start with is go back to VS Code. And as I said earlier, we only have Google as a provider at the moment. Let's copy that to the line below. And we're going to replace Google at the end here with the GitHub provider. So we now have two different providers here, Google and GitHub. And what we can now do is register a GitHub application using the Django admin. Now before we do that, we can also add scopes here. So let's go to the provider documentation for GitHub and you can see some of the scopes that you can fetch here, such as user, repo and read organization. So I'm just going to copy this block of code here and we can paste that at the bottom here. We already have this setting and we've set up some Google settings here. Let's add the settings for the GitHub provider to that particular setting. 
And once we've done that, we can then go to the Django admin and we're going to go to social applications. At the moment, we have a single social application for Google, but we can click this button at the top right and we can now add one for GitHub. So we're going to select GitHub from the provider and then we can give this a name. Let's just say GitHub OAuth and then we can paste in the client ID and the secret key. So let's copy these from the notepad and I'm going to paste the client ID and finally the secret key here. We can paste that in as well. Now, once we've added those, we can just save this and we now have the GitHub provider added as a social application. And it's that simple to add this. We can now go back to our application. And if we go to the login page, notice we now have GitHub registered at the bottom. So we can click this here and we get taken to this page to sign in via GitHub. When we click continue, we're taken to this authorization page and we can authorize our GitHub account. And you can also have a look at the different scopes that are being requested here by the application. And then you can either grant access by clicking authorize or you can cancel this if you don't want to grant that access. Of course, we're going to click this button here and then we get redirected and you can see we are then redirected to the secret page. And we are now signed into the application using GitHub as an identity provider. So that's really cool. It's so easy to do that and use GitHub for authentication and sign up in our applications. Now, if we go back to the Django admin here, what I'm going to do is go to the social accounts section here and we can see we now have a new user here and the provider is listed as GitHub. And if we click through to that, we can see more details here. So we have a unique ID for the GitHub user and we also have some extra data here. That's lots of key value pairs that specify extra data such as avatars for the given user who has signed up using GitHub. And notice at the top here we have a user field. So just like the Google provider, this creates a social account and a social account has a foreign key to the parent user. So we can click through to that and we're taken to that user. Now, one thing to note here is that the email address for this user is null. And if you want to fetch the email address, you need to request the email scope from GitHub. Now, at this stage, I want to have a look at the database very quickly. And if we go to the social account table here, let's view the data in that table. And you can see we have this row here for the new social account that is tied to GitHub. Now, this is linked to a user with ID number 13. So if we go to the auth user table, it has created this row here for our GitHub account. So this is a user model in Django that's tied to that social account from GitHub and it has that unusable password. Now let's say we want to add a social account to an existing user. For example, one of the users that we've already registered with in the application. Let's show how to do that now. And what I'm going to do is remove this row here for the user and we're going to remove the associated social account. So let's go back to the homepage of the admin and go to this user section. And this is the user here. We are going to remove that user and that's going to remove any associated social accounts. So let's get rid of those and we're going to log out of the admin. And once we're logged out, we can go back to the application and I'm going to sign in here using Google and it's the same account as we used before. So we're going to use the all auth test user here and we're going to sign into the application. And once we're signed in, what we can do is go back to that account connections page and let's try adding a new third party account here. So we're going to select GitHub in this case and we can click continue. And when we do that, notice now that we have two account connections for this user that's authenticated at the moment. So we have the Google account and also the GitHub account. So that is two social accounts that are linked to the same user. And that means you can then sign in using either one of those, whatever one you prefer. And it's possible to link multiple social accounts to a given user object. And what we could also do is remove one of these. For example, the Google account here, we can click remove and that is going to then prevent us from signing in using Google. And we have the message at the top that the third party account has been disconnected. And of course, you can style up your own templates to make this look a lot better. It's just the functionality that we are focusing on. Now, the final thing I want to show is how we can get the GitHub image into this particular application. So this is a rather grainy image that I took when I was climbing some mountains in Scotland. What we can do now is go back to the application and I'm going to go back to the secret page that we have here. And what we're going to do is try and show the image on this page. Now, if we go to the Django template for this page, we are checking some details here. For example, does the user have any Google accounts in this case? And we were showing the extra data dot picture from that extra data that was showing the Google avatar in the previous video. Now, it turns out there's a general method on social account objects in Django OAuth. 
that allows you to get that avatar URL if it exists. So let's change this up a little bit. So we're fetching the social accounts and we're storing that in a variable called accounts here. And instead of checking if the user has any Google accounts, we're now gonna switch this to GitHub. So then for each account in accounts.github, we're going to render that avatar. So we can take the account that we have here and there's a method on that called get avatar URL. Now, even though that's a method, we can just refer to it here and that will execute that and return the avatar in a template in Django. And we can switch the alt text here to GitHub profile picture. Now let's save this and go back to the secret page here and let's refresh this page. And notice now that grainy image is now appearing in our very nice secret page here. So that is now working and that is a general method for fetching the avatar URL from a provider and not all providers are going to have that and sometimes it's gonna depend on the scope that you request, but that's gonna work for Google too. So if I go back to the application here and let's navigate back to this accounts page and add the Google provider back to this application. So we're gonna click this here and we're gonna add the Google provider back in here and let's go back to the secret page. Now I'm gonna go back to slash secret at the top. Now if we go to the code in this template here and copy this, I'm gonna paste it just below and we're gonna change the references to GitHub here to Google. So we can change that second one as well and also the alt text. Now we're referring to the same general method here called get avatar URL. Let's refresh this page and you can see both URLs or both avatars, I should say, are appearing on this page. So if you have a social account and you want the general method for fetching the avatar based on that extra data, and remember the fields can be anything in extra data, it depends on the provider, that's a general method that you can use if you want to try and get that avatar. So that's all for this video. We've demonstrated how to use GitHub as an identity provider in a Django application. So we can then log in, sign up and so on using GitHub. And we can also access properties that are returned from the GitHub identity provider inside our Django code, for example, inside templates. And we also saw that we can now link multiple social accounts and multiple identity providers to a single user object using Django OAuth and the social account application. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at the social tokens table, and we're also gonna interact with the GitHub API and return some data and have a look at that on the page. After that, we're gonna move on to multi-factor authentication. For now, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you want to support the channel, check out our coffee page that we have here. And if you want to become a member, we have also opened memberships as well. Thank you to everyone that's joined and thanks for watching this video. We'll see you soon in the next one.